Hey guys, it's me, Producer Ross, and welcome back to another edition of the Monday Recap, the show where I run up all the weekend's action and look forward to the week ahead. Plus, a town flashback looking at classic games on this week in town history. So let's go right into the video. Let's go and look at what happened on the weekend. <laughs> So yes, Town's 100% record has gone, but they still remain unbeaten in League One as they drew 1-1 with MK Dons at Stadium MK. John Nolan, the new goal-scoring Town midfielder, scored his third goal of the season this game. He scored early doors. I mean, a sixth minute to be exact, if you wanted to know that. But yeah, a decent finish from him. Uh, a cross ball over from Freddie Sears. Teddy Bishop was then fouled in the box, but no penalty was awarded because play basically played on. Uh, Grion Edwards then chested it onto John Nolan and he calmly finished for his third goal of the season. He is loving life in League One this season so far. He's doing really well indeed. Then in the second half, MK Dons equalised via Daniel Harvey um, after a ball into the box. And then Daniel Harvey was there to finish. A man who could have been sent off in the first half after a challenge on Luke Chambers. But we didn't know what happened because there was no proper replay for it. So we'll move on. Then another injury blow happened. Um, Flynn Downs, who came on as a sub, uh, second half substitute, uh, who came on after MK Dons basically equalised. But yes, he then suffered an injury. He had to come off. So Town had to end the game with 10 men. 20 minutes with 10 men, which was not ideal. Um, and then, yes, luckily Town held on in a game where Town would have probably lost last season. But thankfully, they held on for the point and still in top six. And of course, Town manager Paul Lambert spoke to the press after the game and praised his team's resilience as they held on to a 1-1 draw at MK Dons. Saying this, one of our best performances for different reasons. The second half substitution, Alan Judge spoke to the press after the game and said he was happy to come away from Milton Keynes with a point against a very good Don side, saying this, last year, we would have maybe lost a game. And I have to agree with Alan, I think we would have probably lost this game because last season, well, we won't go back there, will we? Take a look at the week ahead and Town have two games this week. Firstly, on Tuesday, as they continue their EFL Trophy group stage campaign and they take on Gillingham at Portman Road. Of course, Town lost their first group stage game against Arsenal in 21s, 2-1 at Portman Road. So they really need to win this. If they don't win this, if they lose, they could be out of the tournament, which is not ideal in the group stage. You don't want that to happen. But um, Paul Lambert's already said that he was likely going to be playing the youngsters in this game. So... We'll have to wait. Well, the Blues now have a game this Saturday as their fixture with Cholton, uh, which was put in for this date, was postponed due to international call-ups for the Attics. Um, but now Town have a rearranged fixture for this weekend as they travel to Blackpool as um, they also had a game postponed this weekend as Sunderland, uh, who were there, going to play at international call-ups. So we have a game this Saturday. Uh, so Town will be travelling to the Bluefields Road. Uh, Blackpool are currently sitting third bottom of League One, having won one and lost three so far this season. So this will be an interesting encounter indeed. Of course, they've got Grant Ward and Luke Garbutt, formerly of town, playing for them. So will they score against them? Of course, we're going to end the Monday recap as we normally do with a town flashback, looking at classic games on this week in town history. And we've got three more classic games to bring you, starting in 1992. I wasn't born. But this was a classic. Um, Chris Cormier scored a hat-trick on the 6th of October as the Blues beat Wigan 4-2 at Portman Road to regress to the third round of the League Cup. While on the same day in 2018, Paul Hurst won his first and only town game in charge of the Blues with a 3-2 win at Swansea. And finally on the 11th of October in 2003, Alan Marn scored the only goal as town won 1-0 at Bradford City. This was a beautiful strike from Alan Marn. And there you have it, guys. Town Flashback is done. Let me know if you were at any of these games. If you have any memories, let me know in the comment section below. So there you have it, the end of the Monday recap. Thank you all for watching once again. Make sure to get involved in the comment section below. Let me know your predictions for the coming games this week. Um, but yeah, leave a like, subscribe to the Kings of Anglia YouTube channel, and I shall see you in the next video. <laughs>